Everybody, what's happening? Sammy the Thrifty Beer coming at you, and happy Saturday. Actually, it's really Monday. A bit of a lager update here. So I've had the lager at 20 degrees, actually 19.1 degrees Celsius for the past three days for the diacetyl rest. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gravity reading and a taste and see how she's doing and see if there's any off flavors or any diacetyl present. And then hopefully, permitting, we'll start dropping the temperature. Come along with me and we'll make this thing happen together. Cheers and thanks for watching. Woohoo! All right, let's see how this gem is doing. I am so excited. Looks like everything's basically finished fermentation wise. There's been no activity in the airlock for a while. Just got a little bit of residual bubblage, which is the little yeasty pews cleaning themselves out. Sanitized tester and turkey roaster of doom, sorry, turkey baster of doom. Let's take a sample and see how we're sitting. It's definitely clearer. That's for sure. A lot less yeasties in suspension. And we're sitting at. Oh, I'm going to say she's fermented out. She's looking a little dry there. So I'm going to say we are 10. It's like 10.08.008. Give you guys a little looksy poo. That's how she looks. It's just actually just over, just under, I should say, 1010 and 1008. I think we're going to call her 1009 actually. Pretty sure I was looking for 10, uh, 1011. Okay, now, moment of truth. Doesn't uh, seem to have coated the hydrometer as much as it did last time. Huh? Actually, doesn't smell too bad either, which is good. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Cheers, everybody. Doesn't smell obscene. Definitely better than before, that's for sure. The hops are just a little bit more pronounced, which is nice, which tells me, or leads me to believe that I think we can start knocking her down. So basically now the plan is to decrease the, te to decrease the temperature 2.7 degrees every 12 hours. Till I get to about one degree and keep it there lagering for five days at which that point in time everything should drop out things should be nice and clear we should be able to keg it but yeah I would say so far this is turning out to be an all right an all right thing yeah you can definitely get there's a you can, it sounds pretentious, but you can you can definitely get like the sort of cleanness of the beer. Now maybe that's because it's finishing a little dry. I think I was looking for 1011, I'm pretty sure. But 1009 will definitely take. And I don't get any sort of off flavors or any butteriness or, you know, appleiness or I get no coating in my mouth, which is, I think, a win. That's, uh, I think that's going to be all right. It definitely drinks a lot better than the other one did. 
which was there's that slight not graininess but a really light malt presence there and I'm going to assume that that's from all the Munich I used um, because I basically did a 50-50 at Munich and Pilsner but I digress I've already gone over the recipe with you guys I already posted it online um, but now what we're going to do we're going to knock this temp down from 19.5 19.1 down to 2.7 we'll be back when that's all done we'll do a quick little wrap up Anyways, guys, cheers. Thanks for watching. Back in a bit. Oops, dropped it down 2.7 degrees, which brings it down to 16.4. Now it's at 6.50 p.m., which means at 6.50 a.m. tomorrow morning before I go to work, I'll drop down another 2.7 degrees. And then when I get home from work tomorrow night um, at 6.50 p.m., I'll drop down another 2.7 degrees. This is friggin' cool, you guys. This is absolutely friggin' cool. And I had a beer somewhere. Don't know where I put it. No, it's in the other room. But yeah, this is so far. I gotta say, I'm impressed with how this is working and turning out. So here's to hoping um, the cold crash and everything goes well, and that things sort of drop out and uh, and it loggers nicely, because essentially this is the last little step um, before the five day rest at one degree. Um, so cheers to the guys at Brilosophy because so far I'm pretty pleased and cheers to all the guys who gave me the um, the suggestions. You guys know who you are. No point bringing up your name. You guys know who you are. Anyways, what's going to be happening? Well, uh, as you know, working on the brew shed. I uh, picked up some more supplies for that today. So I'll be, uh, be another video coming up uh, probably next week at some point on what I've done so far with that. Um, depends on how much I can get done this weekend. As well, I'm going to plan on doing a... A Bell's Two-Hearted clone um, this weekend as well on Sunday. I've got some family equipments, but then after that is done, Sunday early afternoon, I'll be able to crack on with the brew. Now, this is um, the recipe uh, from Zemergy magazine, um, and I'll post a link to the recipe um, I want to do the brew day. Um, so it's basically, it's a two-row, uh, sorry, brisk two-row. And then uh, some pale malt, and then some crystal 40, and then everything else is centennial. Now, apparently this is the original Bell's Two-Hearted recipe, I'm not sure. But I went with the one, I mean, it's got it's all centennial, and I love centennial, so I figured best of both worlds, we'll make it happen. Anyways, that's what's happening. So yeah, brew shed is, is happening. Funny, I came home with some stuff. My wife's like, geez, when you say you're going to start something, you 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 do it. I'm like, oh, you gave me the authorization, so uh, yeah, it's going to happen. Anyways, you guys, that's it for me. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the logger and how it's progressing. But yeah, so far, I'm happy. Anyways, you guys, this is Sam the Thrif Thrifty Brewer saying, if you're going to do something to do with a homebrew, by all means, keep calm and brew on. And most importantly, please be safe. If this is your first time watching one of these videos, I encourage you to subscribe. Like I said earlier, like I've said before, I uh, release new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I do read uh, all the comments as well as comment back to them as time permits. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Any questions, post them below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Cheers.